we will make this make.com automation that will use a flux image generator model to automatically post images to our Instagram. Join my school below to learn everything about AI automation. You can also get this template and every other template from my videos there. Let's go to make.com and create a new scenario. Then I will go to replicate.com slash explore or you can just click here explore. And so I want to actually use, uh, you, you can see all of here, but I want to use this flux schnell. So I can just also, if you can't see it there, I can type it here and select it. It's from Black Forest Labs, this one. So this is your prompt. And let me go ahead and click here HTTP. So I want to use this through HTTP request. But first we need to generate a token. So let's go to my uh, profile and view API tokens. Create a token. I'm going to say tutorial first and then create a token. And I think we can just click here copy. And if we go back and if I click API, actually no, you don't need to click API. Go to playground and then this HTTP here. So uh, you're gonna need your API token. So let me just paste it somewhere here because we're gonna be copying and pasting more things. So we need to make a post request to this URL. So let's just copy this URL, go back to make, say HTTP, uh, HTTP. Let's go here and scroll all the way down, make a request and the URL paste here, as I said, post request let's go back and check we need authorization let's copy this uh, keyword without the so this is the key without the uh, columns and then value we see that we have bearer and your api token so let's paste this bearer space and let's copy the api token like that and then let's say we see content type application JSON, but we don't need to pass in this header actually. So let's go down below and say body raw, and then say here content type application JSON here. And then request content. Let's go back here and just copy. Uh, no, no, copy everything after minus D, but only these curly brackets so no dollar sign and no quotes and make sure to have all of these curly brackets both of them uh, you catch both of them and then paste this into content body so if i press ok if i run this once it's gonna throw an error bad json file this is because uh, these quotes are making issues so so you can just, uh, you need to delete one backslash and leave only one backslash because uh, you see these quotes here. So basically, if you have only quotes, then this is quotes open, this is quotes closed, but, and then this is gonna throw an error. So you need to escape these quotes with backslash. So now these quotes are ignored. So now these quotes are not closing the prompt, but we had two quotes, so two backslashes. So this backslash escapes this backslash and so as if those two things don't exist and then quotes remain so you need to have either one backslash or you can just um, remove all of the quotes so it doesn't cause any problems because it's gonna mess with the structure of this json so if i press ok i run once now it's successful and here in the output we see that we have some data now we need to pass this data and extract link this is just a blob of text so we need to convert this to a structured object. Let's say parse JSON, parse JSON and pass in this data. And now uh, we need to run this once more. And let's say run anyway, because so we get this data. And now if we go here, we see that this is parsed as uh, JSON. So in the URLs, we have cancel and get. So now we need to when it says get, it means like make a get request to this URL to retrieve this image. So I suppose they're doing this because there is there has to be some delay between you initiating generation and then getting generation. 
so uh, we will make a sleep node but so this is this can this is gonna do some delay let's say five second delay and then we're gonna uh, let's duplicate this clone this node and let me uh, rename this node and say uh, start image creation okay so this is a uh, rename wait for image to be generated and then this one is gonna be uh, get image or I could also say get or download get slash download image so let's go here we need to make a get request because it says here make a get request and let me copy actually I don't need to copy this URL I need to uh, paste this variable here so let me say URL and here where it says URLs get click this variable so this variable is pasted here so for every image there will be different URL now let's keep authorization JSON that's what you need but you don't need any body so let's say empty because this is a get request get requests don't have bodies they just have authorization and then you are getting some data you are not sending anything so if I let me close this small thing and if I press OK this should actually work so let me run once and this will wait for a few seconds and then I think we should get uh, yeah we got some answer back so we need to this is also a blob of text so we need to convert this to a JSON parse JSON and we're gonna we're gonna pass this latest data okay and now let's do this again uh, run anyway and after this executes we can see here in output we have this image so we will copy this URL and paste it and search and it will automatically download this image that we generated and it's actually it's writing so well it forgot F but it's good even like this so I think this model is so fast that we can reduce this delay to one or maybe you can even try zero seconds but I think it will not work so I recommend you trying with two seconds see if it works for you maybe one second see if it consistently works but since you are already like posting data on Instagram you don't need like instant replies here it doesn't matter so I would just leave like at seven seconds so it doesn't matter if like we post data on Instagram seven seconds earlier it's not some like instant chat with somebody so let's go here and let's add Instagram and we need Instagram for businesses create a photo post and photo so you need to add a connection you're gonna save after you authorized you just go here to photo URL and you will paste in this output one so you click output and then this one number this is the first uh, array so you can you can uh, first element of the array you can add some captions if you want you can maybe generate captions with AI as well and that's it so I think this should work so if you want to make this post two times per day which I don't recommend more than two times per day because your viewers will see you as AI generated spam and Instagram will also uh, like suppress you or not show you to your viewers so you can go here and say minutes 720 this is 12 hours and if I just turn this on but I need to also like don't forget to save so this will post every seven uh, every 12 hours my content to Instagram but I didn't test this yet so let me just run once to test if this will post correctly and it successfully posted this image to my Instagram join my school to learn everything about AI automation I will teach you everything I know and see you in the next video